good morning and happy monday i just wanted to come out and do a really quick uh walk through to show you what we have before we completely change up the garden because i have my landscapers fabric that i'm going to put down and i'm going to put down some mulch this whole that whole area that i cut that day is going to really transform but i want to show you what it is do a before and i'm going to do an after i might do a during i don't know we'll see okay so as you can see that's going to be a that's a rose bush once it starts to grow that's another one they're like mini rose bushes this um this is green beans and i need to pluck these leaves from these um nasturtium leaves because they aren't doing anything but they're the other ones are getting tall and in here also some uh, marigolds and listen this is an old wine rack right didn't know where i wanted to actually put it but i'm using it as a trellis so i just brought it out here and sat it because it was in the house and i wanted to just get it outside just set it here but it's going to be used as a trellis anything that you can think of for your climbing plants to use as a trellis use it so i can't wait to use this and because the door of it opens i'll be hold on let me see something because the door opens i'll be able to use it for a few different um things all right now let's see what we have and like i said all this is going to be landscapers fabric mulch plants but the blueberry bush is doing really well. And remember, I got these two from Lidl. So that's the blueberry bush filling out nicely. And that's the raspberry bush that's going to be taking shape. And this is the one that was already in the ground. And if, as you can see, she has spread. She spread her wings. She ain't flying away, though. But it's doing nicely. And I'm going to move that whole thing there. Over here, we have our potatoes are coming in really good. And that's just an old tote. Drilled holes in it. I sub drilled some holes in the sides and there are holes on each side. And I drilled holes in the bottom. Some um, of our seedlings. So this is going to be, that's not lavender. This is, I don't know why these aren't, well, we have some yellow squash, some zucchini, eggplant. Um, the cucumber is starting to come up, nasturtium. I can't remember what this is. I guess we'll find out soon enough. But this is ox eye sunflowers, some more um, echinacea, and this is sorrel. But and it was doing so lovely. I don't know what happened to it. I'm gonna have to replant my sorrel, but because it has all died out now. What the world? I'm gonna replant it. No biggie. But as you can see, we have corn. I'm gonna be transplanting this soon into a 20 gallon pot. And you can grow up to six together in a 20 gallon. I'm probably going to do more than six, though. I'm going to have to get this stuff in the ground because I think a squirrel has been over here. But we, none of my peppers are coming in yet because I just planted the seeds not too long ago. Um, we have some zinnias and some co one Cosmo. The borage is coming in really nicely. So I'm going to actually take this cup and move it. We have marigolds. Look at that big potato. We have peas doing nicely. This is... Um, why do i always forget the name of it but anyway there's a eucalyptus and we have some flowers here um coming in we have some garlic on the bottom and it's on all three and remember this, i got this from dollar tree nothing here yet but it's um salad greens the chamomile is doing really nicely it really likes being in here oh my gosh y'all i have never been successful with cilantro and that's coming in we have some lavender shoots in there and some did no that's dill we have dill shoots and i think that's lavender they all mixed up and thyme let's see if anything else is in here nope nothing is happening in, oh we oh i forgot to put dirt in here that's one of the other plants that i transplanted i need to put some soil in there with let's see anything else fancy nancy well just the beets i'm gonna thin those out eventually and flowers nasturtium radishes chives that's some more dill and up here of course you know the strawberries and the nasturtium i'm gonna have to take this off soon because look the nasturtium is getting so tall it's gonna end up trying to come through the fencing i gotta fix this pull this out because a squirrel came over i had to cover this and it basically killed my little watermelon plants that were growing so i only have one surviving there 
This one is probably going to die. But we have two that I'm going to have to actually thin out that are back there. We have nice petunias over here. And I have my little hummingbird feeder. Citronella. It finally hit me. So the citronella is coming back in. All right, we're back. So over here, this is weeds I need to pull out. I have got to come out here and get these weeds out of here. Ooh, that's a tough one. Stubborn, but basil, excuse me, basil, onions. This is weeds. Um, marigolds, some more onions coming in nicely. All of this is wildflowers. I planted wildflowers with the cucumbers and tomatoes because there's a that's going to be a tomato plant right there basil marigolds oh look at these leaves the sun my shadow is horrible but look at that that's so pretty i don't even know if y'all can see how pretty it is because of the way that the sun is in my shadow but we have some cucumbers coming up the tomato this tomato plant is doing so nicely all of the tomatoes really and up here and the true leaves are on so i always pinch off the dead leaves especially once my true leaves come on let's see let's get these off okay and so oh look girl where in the world that's carrots okay oh that's tomatoes oh my god i gotta thin out this stuff i'm gonna have to really come out this is weeds um carrot tops lord that's because something been over here digging and moving my stuff around probably because i do not remember planting seeds over there but i do remember planting them here and i didn't think they were doing anything because this was all covered up with that box of wildflowers anyway we got basil oh this is gonna be a sunflower right here and that's wildflowers um let's see what else we have Oh, another sunflower, possibly. We'll see if it survives. We will see. And this is the wildflowers that were in the box. I threw it in here just to see if it's gonna survive, child. We don't know. But all of the herbs are doing nicely. That I have got to harvest some of this oregano because we don't want it to flower. Oh, it smells so good. And I'm probably gonna harvest all of the tall shoots. Um, Echinacea is coming in nicely there. The sage is doing really good. Let's see if I can zoom in on the sage and the rosemary, lemon balm. I definitely need to harvest that before that starts to flower. I'm going to cut a lot of that back and dry it for tea, for baths, all that kind of stuff. Baking. You can use fresh lemon balm on your chicken, your fish. We have borage here that's coming in really nice. No, that's not borage. That's echinacea. I'm sorry. Um, we have, As you can tell, I love echinacea. It's really good for health properties, so that's why I use it, and that's why I plant it. This is borage, and I need to take that other borage, and I'm actually gonna plant that right up in, in this spot right here with this. It's the lavender is so pretty. Um, the chamomile is growing in nicely. Look at how she's getting tall. She's getting tall. And that's another thing that I really like. I really like chamomile tea. So I wanted to try to grow as much as I could. Here we have more lemon balm that needs to be harvested. The cabbage is not doing all that great. I'm not sure if I should have covered it more, but something ate that one completely up. Look at that. Ooh, she's skinny. Um, This feels like a rubber plant, but I know that's not what it is. That's just a weed. But look at the bok choy. Look at the bok choy. I am so proud, of, especially of that one. That one is doing nicely, and so is that one. Told y'all about me and this spinach, but look. Oh, shucks now. The mint is doing really well. So this is peppermint. All this is peppermint. And this is spearmint. You can tell the difference in the height of them. Oh, it smells so good when you touch it. And that's more spearmint there. And it's more peppermint. This is a weed. That's all I wanted to show y'all today. All right, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this quick little walk through the garden to see what's going on so far um, with the containers before we start planting in ground. And we still have some more containers. I'm definitely going to plant the corn in a 20-gallon pot. That's all of my trellises that have to go back in the ground. 
but everything else the yard is looking so good yeah i hope y'all enjoyed this tour and i'll talk to y'all soon